Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you liked that little intro that I made. Today I have swatches of beautiful collection from Cutty Lacquer inspired by Game of Thrones. Now Game of Thrones is one of my favorite shows of all time. I have watched it twice and I think it is a really good series so I just couldn't skip this collection. It was a mystery polish collection, which made me even more excited. I know that mystery polishes are not everyone's cup of tea. I was also a bit of concerned when I was buying them, uh, because indie polishes are also more expensive than regular ones, but I love every single nail polish from Cutty Lacquer, so I figured that they just cannot be bad, so I took them all. So I hope you like that swatch video and if you are interested in these shades then please keep on watching. So the first shade is Stormborn inspired by Queen Daenerys herself and this is a light greeny shade with gold copper flakies. Now before we talk about the formula I would like to talk a bit about the color itself and how it reminds me of a character and I will do that with all of the shades. So this shade reminds me the most of Young Daenerys from first seasons that was to be married to Khal Drogo. I don't know if it was the dress that she was wearing or overall her hair and her skin color and maybe the background as well, I don't know, but it reminds me of her from this period. She was at the beginning one of my favorite characters until the last season, obviously, when the directors just made her crazy and driven by anger. But yeah, I still like her, to be honest. So this is this shade, and when it comes to the formula, it is very flaky packed, which I love. And I needed three coats for full coverage, but for short nails, I think it will look good with two as well. So the next one is Regal and this one happens to be my favorite from the collection. It is green jelly base with rectangular gold flakies because I don't think that these are glitters and some irregular flakies as well. It represents Regal so well. Here you have some photo for the reference. So when I was watching the show for the first time I did not pay that much attention. But the second time when I knew that this collection was going to be released, I was looking at the characters, the colors, and I really saw that green shade. I did not see that the first time when I was watching it, but the second time, definitely it was visible. When it comes to the formula, it is truly amazing. For this one, I normally use two coats, but here in this swatch video, I think I could have done uh, three probably because on the camera it could be a bit more opaque it is so easy to use and it does not cause any trouble because it is a jelly base the flakies stand out so well they look like if they were kind of suspended in this green base I don't know it is so amazing definitely my favorite Next we have Not Today and this is a thermal shade and it is very difficult to describe. I would say it is a 3 thermal that changes from pink when it's hot to purple to dusty dark purple when it's cold and it is also packed with flakies and kind of hollow micro glitter. To be honest I don't really know what's inside and I'm not sure if this description is accurate but it is beautiful. So obviously this is a Aria inspired shade. She is one of my favorites. When I see this shade, I think of it like a representation of her as a girl. And then she has this other warrior side of her. She is a very brave character and she has been through a lot. And I really think that this shade is showing that complex character of Aria. I don't know, it just kind of makes sense for me. And regarding the formula, it is like a dream. It covers so well and it is so easy to work with. I needed two coats for full coverage and this was so smooth and easy. 
Also, it is transferring so well from one color to another. It changes so well from purple to pink and the other way around. I really enjoy this shade every time I'm wearing it. And I love thermals in general. So, you know, I'm wearing this a lot and it's just so beautiful. It catches eye and I always get compliments when I'm wearing it. So the next one is He Brings the Storm and this is light blue with blue, black and white round glitters and I think a bit of purple iridescent shimmer. This shade I thought was inspired by Jon Snow because this is his quote but it is actually inspired by The Night King and when Madeleine from Caddy Lacquer commented my photo and told me that it is actually the Night King that was the inspiration for the nail polish. I was like, oh, that makes so much sense. And I love this inspiration. I think that this nail polish actually screams the Night King. And this is one of the best recreations when it comes to this collection, in my opinion. The formula is really nice. It is the only glitter and lay polish and we have these stubborn glitters that you will have to fight to remove from your nail. So peel off base coat could be useful here. I did three coats for full coverage. It covers really evenly and if you are not really picky with nail showing up, you could probably make two and be good to go. I love it the most with three cones and this is how I'm wearing it. Just the only thing, you know, it is a glitter nail polish so it will be difficult to remove. And last but certainly not least, we have Drogon and this is a brown nude base with two color of flakies and we have copper and blue that shifts to purple. This is my favorite recreation from this collection. You look at this nail polish and it just makes so much sense. It looks totally like Dragon. I made this Insta story that you can see to show how similar they are actually and how the vibe is the same. During the show, I could see how Dragon looked and, and I was amazed how Madeleine was able to put all of these details together. And I was so impressed with this nail polish. Seriously, just look at it. It just screams Dragon. And when you see the show, when I saw that for the second time, and I was seeing Dragon, and I was like, oh my god, it looks just so like my nail polish. It is so amazing. So now the formula. It is very nice, very easy to work with. It is pretty sheer on the first coat, but it builds up very well on the second one and it actually didn't need a third one. These flakies look so good on the nail and later on they are easy to remove, so there's nothing better than flakies. So this is it. I know that this video might be a bit longer than my normal swatch video, but I just love Game of Thrones and these polishes. I love that they have that story behind and that actually watching the show, you can look for the reference and this is just so exciting for me. I think Madeleine made such a good job with these. I like, to be honest, all of her nail polishes and this is one of the reasons why I was not afraid to order 5 mystery shades. She just never did a nail polish that I wouldn't like. So let me know if you would get a mystery nail polish collection or you think that this is a crazy thing to do. I'm curious of what you think. And this is it for today. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye!